Hello everyone. So today we'll discuss about the low floor boiler. Basically, this is a water to boiler and it is using a force circulation. Its main principle of working is to evaporate the feed water by means of superheated steam from superheater. So let's start with this animation flow. Basically, uh, the demineralized water is fed to the boiler economizer coil. The economizer basically preheats the water by utilizing the waste heat of the flue gases. A boiler economizer is also a kind of heat exchanger that uses the heat from flue gases to preheat the boiler feed water. This reduces the amount of fuel needed to heat the water. And at the initial starting phase of the low floor boiler, the superheated steam is required to the evaporating drum. So when the superheated steam is mixed in the evaporating drum, then a dry saturated steam is formed and it is forced to circulate by the steam circulating pump to the radiant superheater. A radiant superheater is placed directly in the radiant zone of the combustion chamber. So has to heat absorbed by the radiation and then it is passes to the convective superheater. Basically convective superheater which is located in the path of hot flue gases. So the means of uh, convection superheater which transfer the heat from the hot flue gases to the steam. So first, this saturated steam passes through the tubes of the combustion chamber wall and then entered the superheaters. And from the superheater, about one third of the superheated steam passes through the turbine and remaining two third is used to evaporate the feed water in the evaporating drum. And to support the combustion of fuel, a fresh air from the atmosphere is passes through the air preheater to the combustion zone. This is from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.